You what? You do. Job. Something large pushed against his leg and he felt being dragged above the ground as a beast. The ocean size surface how to collide as the ocean swallowed him again. I'm getting ready to escape just in case someone charges at me. Are you just going to exit and save and exit? Are you sure you want to exit this moment? Yes. Why can't I just have puzzles? Go! He found something being hoisted. I didn't give a shit. Fuck <laughs> you. Get out of the watch, get out of the That's... I'm just gonna go back, go get a bottle of water, and I'll be right back. And I'll add five minutes on to the end. Okay, I'm back. I'm back with a bottle of water. I think I was gone five minutes. So hopefully there's a major save point soon. Cause I don't honestly think I could take much more of this game, right? Okay, I'm ready to go again. I'm back. I got 15 minutes left. Actually, 10 minutes. Oh, should I just end it here? Actually. Ooh, because we're gonna make a save point. Oh, this bit. I like this bit, it's pretty cool. I remember certain spits and this is one of the bits. I can't remember what happened, but I just I liked it, I thought it was cool. The music and everything. <gasps> Oil, tinder box, tinder box. Oh my god. See they obviously they reward you, which is pretty cool.
I'm gonna check upstairs. Probably go through the door. Just run upstairs. We tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when we were knocking. received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. What a nice friend. I like this room. Can I just break out the window? And just like, go home? Get that oil. I keep pressing P to make League of Legends. Oh, get that crowbar. Beat monsters in poo poo. Piece of paper. Third of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? That is a good question. Nice shirt, bro. Sit through the book of the monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings from all Europe and depicted with orb with an orb testing and resting in their hand. It's a beautiful game. Professor Taylor has was the second death caused by this damn curiosity. <laughs> Turn around, go back out. Oh. Go check the other door near the room. Hunt is heavily trying to rescue himself from screaming in the cabinet. 
defense in cabinet and being able to kill. Two doors. Sir William Smith has been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the day cast such a terrible shadow. It's written now, I can't find it. Oh my god. What do I want that clip? Oh my god. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I've got to find the key. What are the chances? Oh my god. Lost the key. I didn't expect it to bloody just disappear. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh shit. That is not come out of lost the key. <sighs> I don't want to start. I think I'm gonna have to exit. Start it. I don't know if I need the key though. 
It wasn't anywhere on the floor. Hmm. All right, I might end it here, and then I might just do this a little bit again, see if I need the key. Yep. Fuck me, that was a scary hour though. Jesus Christ, sweating like a bloody bag of biscuits. Alright guys, thanks for watching.